so good evening uh, and thanks for joining me uh, I've got Trev on the phone uh, and you can see that I'm just sort of hiding a couple of wires uh, while I'm chatting with Trev and Trev, Trev's keeping an eye on me uh, I've come into the shed tonight uh, that's my phone coming to the shed tonight to, to set up me, my camera properly which is up there uh, and I've Tre Trev's talked to me about uh, downloading software onto the PC uh, and, and unzipping files and d d all sorts of things and I've downloaded uh, a, 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 a studio uh, onto this computer uh, and, and all sorts of stuff uh, and basically it's to give you that okay because so my mouse it is actually picking up quite quite a large area of my desk okay uh, unfortunately the lighting is quite appalling because uh, one of my strip lights in the shed we had a power cut last night uh, and one of the strip lights has blown so that's that's something else that I need to do uh, it would happen now wouldn't it so for now you can see I've got a little desk light uh, and over there where's my camera and over there I have got my uh, my other sort of strip light uh, you can see everything that I'm doing okay now then so so I'm playing with this and I'm wondering if uh, no, okay I thought I might be able to close that gap down and, and centralize that but I can't uh, so this is OBS studio that I'm recording in uh, the microphone is picking up my voice uh, I've got all sorts of things and basically it's it's just a, a couple of minutes uh, two, two or three minutes uh, recording just so that I can see if I can throw this into the studio to do some editing uh, because I, I'm just debating on whether to do uh, a, a full build on this Zundap K, uh, KS750 with sidecar the one thing that we haven't tried just at the moment uh, is uh, is the uh, zooming in function. Uh, I, I've got loads of loads of things here, loads of control settings, uh, but uh, but I haven't got a, I haven't looked yet at doing a zooming. Uh, but for now, you can see that I've got the instruction book in front of me. I have actually brought up my new uh, decrepit already knackered AK Extreme thinner cutting mat I've ruined it already Trev by spilling some AK thinner on it Trev's over here on my phone just keeping an eye on me uh, so let's have a quick look then uh, I've opened the box I have opened the box let's just have a little look here I might as well get it up and I? I might have moved my mouse to one side uh, if I put it just there at the back look and keep it in shot uh, and I suppose if I want to do a zoom view, I'm going to have to do that, although the background isn't quite what we're after, is it? Uh, there's absolutely no point me whatsoever talking about what that piece is and this piece and this piece, because I have not got a clue. I do know that this is a bit of engine. Uh, as far as parts are concerned, uh, there's not much in the way of rubbing down to do by the looks of it, which is great. I have, a, I have heard some really, really bad things about this kit, uh, but Paul Radcliffe uh, he, he's been uh, he's been building cafe races all summer uh, into last uh, into this winter, uh, and he's sort of forced me into getting a bike. So I've dropped on this World War Two piece. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, I know that that's the gun, uh, and again, it's uh, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see because of the poor lighting. Uh, I do apologise for that. I know that they're leaf springs. No idea what any of the rest of it is. No idea at all. Let's get rid of that. Uh, sidecar, I thought that there'd have been a lot more. If I do that look, you can see that that's just literally a plain side. And I did think that there'd be more riveting detail down the side of this sidecar. There isn't. Uh, I'm just wondering whether I'm, I'm going to look on Google and see see if there's any uh, any images of that sidecar. 
I know that that's the frame for the motorbike itself, both sides, uh, and the engine all sits in there, and we've got a couple of mud guards. That's about that. And we've got the wheels, which are wheels, wheels, Trev. A uh, couple of seats that they're, they're not, they are plastic, but they're in like a bit of a textured plastic. Uh, that looks like some kind of toolbox. No idea what that is. Uh, and then finally we're on to the bag that's got springs and some kind of hoses in it. Uh, no idea. Headlights and rear lights and then four tyres. Uh, I can remember Trev, I did set up all Radcliffe about a month ago. Well, when I first bought it and I opened the kit, I went, I'm not being funny or old Paul, but why has it got four tyres? Because there's two on bike. And two on sidecar, uh, and one on sidecar. When there's two on sidecar, you dozy bastard. Yeah, I know, mate. So, so instructions are as follows. I might as well put that little lot back, back in the box. Uh, so, uh, sidecar seats, by the looks of it. Uh, have we got any colour call outs? Oh, down here, look. So, colour call outs down at bottom and then in black circles. Uh, and it isn't giving me a colour call out for inside, inside there straight away. That's H, flat wood. That's D, uh, metal flat aluminium. But that, that part in there that it's colour coded, obviously, it's not giving me a colour. I suppose. Well, I'll have to have a look, won't I? It'll be grey, I've no doubt. Two, two sides on, seat in, take that up, put this little bit on back. I'm, I'm surmising that that's for the, uh, for the gun, for the machine gun. No idea. I don't know, mate. Moving on, uh, this is going to be quickest build review ever in your life. Cost no idea, no idea no idea no 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 i haven't got a clue what's it all about not oh leaf spring so that's suspension mud guard mud guard sidecar onto frame how's that trev <laughs> it's all right that ain't it mate step 17 engine we'll just say that down to 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 is adding this little bit on. This little bit. I mean I ain't got a clue. That just goes to show them to how much of a control how, how much of a clue I've got. Engine in. Obviously that's all gonna have to be painted and detailed. These subframes are gonna have to be painted first. So is the wheel. So are these brackets. So is the it's literally all it's, it's like the Revel bus I've just done this Trev, it's all sub-assembly parts that are all going to have to be primed, painted before you before you start building it mate because once you start building this kit you, you've got absolutely no chance of getting in with a paintbrush, never mind an airbrush. Uh, looks like fuel tank, saddle, some kind of caliper on the back, I think that's the stand no idea no not a clue all of that not not a clue not a clue mud guard front oh it must be for front end handlebars this is going to be fun to build this mate because like when you ain't got a clue you really ain't got a clue uh handlebars onto mud guard looks like something going into that wheel there attaching that onto that that onto that so 57 58 59 60 is your headlight casing 61 is your speedo i'm guessing sticking all them brackets on putting some wiring through and some more 65 it's showing you where to put that 66 is the same no idea uh i ain't got a clue i don't know what they are it just keeps saying the winter version the winter version uh, let's have a look here uh, again look the winter version uh, I think there the must be like 
to pr protect the handlebars from the cyclist cold uh, kick start pedal I know clutch pedal no idea no idea what this lot is I don't want to is my head going to get in the way how far forward do I have to lean that's fine uh, no, yeah this bracket here for this box wheel on top one two three four there must be five then have I miscounted uh, one there two saddles toolbox jerry can sticking all that lot on the top uh, and then the big gun on that little bit there uh, and then we'll call it a draw 89 stages to build this kit that is the colour that I'm doing it in the grey because I'm a boring old shit uh, I do like the uh, German uh, th this one uh, Al Al Albina Albina I do like that sandy coloured one definitely not struck on that uh, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that Mark Bridge would probably help to do it uh, so that's that. How long have I been going now? Have I got? Uh, have I got? Uh, oh yes, it's there. So 11, 11 and a half minutes. I've been going on this quickest ever Italiere Zundap KS750 with sidecar review. Uh, whether I publish this onto YouTube or not, I've absolutely no idea. Trev's absolutely pissing his pants. Uh, you should see how I've got the camera all attached up here. I've got dowels and clamps and microphone stands and all sorts of stuff. You can hear that in my voice. Uh, but Paul Rad does want me to do a step-by-step -step video build. I've always I've had one go and it was a nightmare. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might have another go. We're, we're going to have to wait and see okay so that that'll do uh, stay tuned if i don't do a step-by-step a, a -step video review i'll build the blading thing and then put another video on uh, and we'll leave it at that thanks for tuning in everybody stay safe i'm going to give him a little twitchy thumb and i'll catch you all later cheers <laughs>